electricity Vibes on a frequency, yeah Till infinity Steady on a different beat Life is not that deep It's all about the energy, yeah The mentality I you make it my body Nobody go go sign And you know everything I do before colonialism, the place now known as Africa was once made of kings and kingdoms. One of those such kingdoms is Dahomey. The woman king celebrates and captures the story of an all-female warrior tribe that led Dahomey to serial victories. Today, what we are doing at Lekki IMAX Cinemas is capturing and celebrating the essence of African womanhood and strength and power. This movie, The Woman King, was produced by the iconic Viola Davis. My name is Violet Ejata, and I'll be hosting your red carpet at Filmhouse. Shake, shake, shake me, baby, shake, shake I feel your vibration. I get on my dosham, beautiful temptation. I get on rotation. Shake, 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 shake me, baby, shake, shake. Literally be the iconic Iyabo O J O Iyabo Jo. Ah! You look absolutely magnificent in this outfit. Can you walk me through it? Well, this is all Tiana. If it's not Tiana, it can never be Tiana. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on the Film House Cinema's red carpet tonight, we have African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Trailblazer oh. winner, okay. year 2020, Jide Ekene. Oh, thank you for saying my name right, <laughs> Jide Ekene. Good. Talk to me finally about your outfit. What inspired this? Well, they said um, Afro Warrior, that's the theme. I thought about it like, why do I have to have knives, blades, and swords? Maybe I'm Superman. Maybe I can just levitate and, you know, seize things. So I said to come in a, a very simple James Bond type way, where you, you can't really say I'm standing out of the crowd, but then I'm different, unique. You know, Africa, Africa, everything, future, Period. simple. And we have Ro Timmy Salami here on the film house red carpet, still celebrating the Woman King premiere tonight. Talk to me about your outfits. I'm actually wearing Talaris. Uh, shout out to Talaris. He just came through yesterday because I just got his invite just yesterday. So, hey, I mean, I'm wearing Talaris and that's it. Oyinye Odokoro representing Eastern Nigeria, ladies and gentlemen, live on the red carpet. I love this. This is so reminiscent of um, pre colonial Igbo times. But I don't want to tell this story for you. So tell me this story. You've already said it. You've already said it. I mean, they said the theme was Afro Warrior. I'm like, okay. Before the white people came, we had that as women. That's it. So, technically, apparently, I am wearing the skin of the animal that I killed in the forest. That's what I'm wearing. Nigerian series star, Esther, <laughs> is here clad in leather. And it is get then So talk to me about this look. What inspired this look? Um, basically, it was put together in less than 24 hours, honestly speaking. My stylist put this together. I wanted to look more like the female warriors in the film because they kind of like gave me the inspiration and I love female thriller action movies so I wanted to look like them. I mean, before I get the chance to play the role. So, okay, yeah. I'm loving the manifestation. <laughs> Period. The Nigerian TV presenter, Grand Prince, is totally looking like a prince in this outfit Let them know. tonight. Let them know. Grand Prince. Take over, let them know. Yeah, you look great, my love. Thank you. Yeah. You look absolutely fabulous. Walk me through this outfit real quick. Afro Warrior, simply. Simply put, Afro Warrior. That, that's inspiration, yeah. that's it, period. Yeah. Well, she looks like she totally understands the assignment for the Woman King premiere. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. How are you doing? I'm very, doing very well, thank you. Walk me through this look real quick. Um, this took 11 hours, mostly because of the scarification that we had to do. Uh, my glam team came to my house at like 9 a.m. Yeah, because they had to be sure that everything stayed put. And I think they did a great job. Hi guys, my name is Dala. My name is Asta. It's a My name is Shai Wakama, and I'm here at the Woman King premiere. And I'm giving a huge shout out to Filmhouse. Don't touch it. 
keep watching. Peace. Um, the Woman King today celebrates African woman strength and power. And it as well, as well celebrates um, the talent from Nigeria because we have not one, not two, but three talents showcased on this film. What does this mean for Nollywood globally? I'm telling you, it means bravo. <laughs> I mean, that's excellent. That's a good feeling. It shows that we are being heard and we are being seen. It shows that we are a force to reckon with. It shows that we are deep and we are rooted and we are the giants of Africa. How does it make you feel to know that we have three Nigerians? Not one, but three Nigerians on this project. Ecstatic. Not just for the Nigerians, for the Africans. You know, there's a South African in there, the girls from East African countries. We are proud of everybody and we are happy that our voice is not only being discovered in this massive way but it's something that's going to stay here for a lot for forever like these films are forever everybody's going to remember that woman king happened with we in it that's what i'm saying yeah i'm excited i'm very excited because it opens doors to more more things collaborations you know now a kid can dream and not feel insane you know we used to dream this dream but now some people can see that's what that's why i'm excited Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Fakwa here on the red carpet for the Woman King premiere. Talk to me about the Woman King and what it means to you as a term. Um, I'm excited because it's here. You know, before it used to be in Hollywood running to Hollywood. Now we have Hollywood coming to Hollywood. You know, the game has changed. You know, and what better time than now? You know, um, these are things that we prayed for. And we're seeing these things, you know, manifest in our time, in our generation. I mean, it's always been there. You know, we had the likes of Uncle Olu Jacobs, who paved the way, you know, for that generation. But now we have it happening in our generation, you know. And we have one of us, you know, my brother, making this, you know. So it's not a Waka Pass role, guys. It's not Waka Pass. It's not a one-liner. It's a major role. Even in the one-liner, would have been great. But this is a major role, you know, and it's just it's amazing to be um, a part of it. And to see that after this, more will come through these doors. But the door now is open for all the past. Absolutely. The Woman King looks like a game changer that will continue to open more and more doors for Nollywood. Shake, shake, shake me, baby, shake. shake I feel your vibration. I get on my toes. Beautiful temptation. I get on rotation. Shake. T to the double O and L and Z O is here. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria's finest OAP with the curves. Tools is in the building here to celebrate the Woman King premiere. Talk to me about the Woman King as a term and what it means to you personally. Well, this is something that I definitely, this movie is something I definitely wanted to see. I wanted to be part of the um, premiere to see all of these people in their gorgeousness. Um, obviously, uh, the fact that these are very, very powerful women um, resonates very strongly with me. Um, the fact that they, this whole movie was inspired by a group of powerful women that hail from Benin as well. Um, I was just super excited when I saw that the movie was being made. When I saw clips of the movie, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see this. So my husband and I were like, okay, we definitely need to watch it. Naturally, women are warriors, you know. Um, leave the way this, um, this movie is actually being painted, but in words, women look like an average viola. I mean, Viola Viola, yeah, in this movie, you know. So every strong woman that you can see physically that looks strong, majority of them even look stronger, even in that timid look, you know. So shout out to every woman out there holding it strong for not just your husband, not just for your future husband, not just for your brothers and for, for the entire world at large. The Woman King, what does this term mean to you? <laughs> you know, there are, t there, there are different things to this thing, right? Before you say I'm a feminist or I'm not a feminist or anything. Girl, but I, I love believe, me some feminists. I do believe that, you know, there are women that, you know, stood their ground and protected their territory. So it's good that this story is being told, you know, because they want to make it seem as if all women from time were in the kitchen and stuff like that. No, apparently this woman was, you know, trying to protect her kingdom and her territory and she did it, you know. I think the woman king, I think there's a king in every woman, to be very honest. I see women call themselves kings, and some, I used to, you know, feel some certain way about it. Why not just be queen, you know? But I realized that every woman has a king part of them, and to be honest, like, royalty, 
king, queen, you might say the same, but like the power that kings come, that might come from me for this, right? But there's a power that, you know, that term king comes with. So when you say the woman king, you're, you're talking about every woman in their rights, you know, in your business, in your job, whatever it is you're doing, you're just a king, like, yeah. you be boss on your own in whatever Thank level. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so I love the woman king because once upon a time, you couldn't put woman and king next to each other. And um, a lot of people are still going to be very upset that it's happening, but we do not care. Yes, um, so they also said that once upon a time as well, um, we only belonged in the other room, but now we are heroes, we're warriors, and we're ready to show them that. Still celebrating the premiere of The Women King at Lecky at IMAX Cinema Filmhouse. Welcome, sir. Patrick Lee. Um, so tonight we're actually celebrating African um, strength, uh, the strength of uh, African woman, the power that lies within us, um, using the film The Woman King. What can you tell me about what this means to you personally and what it means to the film industry professionally? Well, it's being able to tell our history. A lot of the times we've had our history told um, by others. But this is an opportunity to be able to tell our own authentic African history. And this gives us a real opportunity to showcase African talent, to showcase African Africanness, what we're all about. And this opportunity, we're glad to have it on a global scale. We, a few years ago, we had the Black Panther and Wakanda. Now we have an African queen story being told to a worldwide audience. And it's a fantastic opportunity, of course, with so many Nigerians also involved in this movie itself. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity for us, which we're very proud of. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being incredible on the red carpet tonight. I hope you have a lovely night ahead. Thank you, sir. Hi, guys. My name is Dala. My name is Asta. My name is Shai Wakama, and I'm here at the Woman King premiere. And I'm giving a huge shout out to Filmhouse. Don't touch it, keep watching. So, um, The Woman King as a movie, if you were to dedicate it to the one woman in your life, who would it be and why? I don't have to think about it twice. My mother, that woman has been there for me through the thick, through the. I mean, she's taken some drastic decisions for me, and it just feels great that, you know, it's dedicated to her and nobody else at the end of the day. I love you so much, Mommy, if you're watching. We love you, Mommy! <laughs> I will definitely dedicate this to my mom. I feel like she has put in the work and she definitely deserves it. Ah, one. I can't celebrate one, no. I mean, I have to be sincere. I can't celebrate one. The first woman I'll celebrate in my life, that I mean, the woman that made me who I am today is my mom. I'll celebrate her, and the next thing I'll celebrate my mom. And, um, the last one goes to every good woman out there, such as you. So, yeah. My mom, because she's literally my my warrior. She's literally my guardian angel in human form, in the mundane form. You know, so basically my mom and my, my sisters, I have four sisters, so we're all like warriors, female warriors. Yeah. It would be pretty much every African woman I know, um, because I think we are, I prefer using the, the word powerful and strong. I believe we're all powerful, you know, in our own respective ways, um, and I would dedicate this movie to them. And of course, but if I was going to be partial, my mom probably, yeah. My late mom. My late. Why is that? Because she fought a lot of battle in her lifetime, and even until death, she was a very strong woman. You look absolutely stunning. I hope you have a lovely night, as awesome as yourself. The biggest star out of Nollywood into Hollywood right now, the hottest, most remarkable, Jimmy Odukoya. How does it feel? You watched yourself tonight perform. How does it feel for the first time? You're watching yourself. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was interesting. I was happy to see people's reactions to my character. Um, by the end of the film, I, they wanted my character gone, which was the whole goal. Um, but it was just good to see the celebration of talent, to see my co-stars and actors, the work they did show, the reactions that the, the audience had to each character, the connections they felt. 
and it was just a beautiful experience really just to see it all come together so i was really happy really thankful and grateful for the support of people who came out to support what do you think that the woman king as a film means um professionally to nollywood and to hollywood as well um to nollywood it, it shows that um we have the talent to hack it you know we we can perform on the big stages it's not just our talent isn't just for nollywood we have the ability, the versatility, and the strength to showcase on the biggest stages, and also for Hollywood to let them know that there's talent here, you know. And um, we 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 are the exports of of Africa for a reason, you know. And just hope, hoping that more doors can open for more collaborations. Um, and I believe this is just the first of many to come. Boys and girls, we have Ladipo in the building. You have just seen the Woman King, and it ultimately celebrates the power and strength of women, women in Africa. How have you, how have you received this movie, personally? I was entertained. I was entertained from start to finish. I thought it was a really good story. I wanted to come and see a good story, an amazing and strong portrayal of, of Africa, African women, and I, and I got all those things. I don't think I can ever remain the same after seeing The Woman King. Honestly speaking, the feistiness, the fierceness, the bravery, the bravado, everything. No, it was, it was mind blowing. Um, I don't know, I have no words. Like, the film gave even more than what we were expecting. It's, it's, it's literally like it went from, it just had like had us play with different emotions. It went from being all happy to teary. I cried, like you just gave me different kind of emotion. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Whose um, character were you most impressed with? Um, they all did so well, even like to the list of them. Honestly, I feel like everybody took their character very seriously. You understand? So everybody did exceptionally well, but I love to so. Uh, I would say, is a gay but um, now we had it for me because she's small and she could move the way she could and she could fight the way she could. But there's kind of a tie between Izoge and Nawi. So, yeah. It was the kid, I can't remember her name, the girl. The, the princess, or I mean the girl, she, she was strong, she was Viola's fierce. Daughter. Viola's daughter. Mm. She was fierce, she was amazing, strong. I love the effort. I could I could see her training for the movie, even behind the camera. She did, she did amazing. So I call her Big Sis. It's okay. She's the tallest. She's the one that's in 007. Ooh. But anyways, I really enjoyed the film. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out and have a lovely night. Thank you very much. I'm never taking my power, power, power. Before seeing the movie, I had high expectations. And after seeing the movie, I mean, it's Viola Davis, right? Trust me, guys, the movie is just as hot as it is hyped. And you should see The Woman King at Filmhouse Cinemas. My name is Violet Ejata, and I am the red carpet host for Filmhouse. Electricity, vibes on a frequency, yeah. Till infinity, steady on a different beat. Life is not that deep. It's all about the energy, yeah. Uh, mentality. Now you make it my body. The body go go.